Hello, what's up and what's up? Welcome back for yet another NCAA 06 Dynasty video. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking on Tulane and UTEP. Now, Tulane, they ranked 100. Now, we've been ranked 119 the whole season. When we kicked off the season, we were ranked 119. So this is the ball game that I'm thinking we could get our first win. Now, it's not going to be easy. We're still playing with our backup quarterback, Gaddis, our first-string quarterback. He got hurt uh, versus Hawaii. So during the Hawaii game, he got banged up. He's out for at least 10 weeks. So we won't get him back for a while. So it's going to be up to our quarterback gangs to get things going through the air. We kind of changed up our offensive philosophy. It's going to be a lot of power runs, even though our running backs aren't that great. A lot of power runs and, of course, that short passing game. But let's get into the gameplay. Hawkins on third down tries to get that to his receiver, but that pass gets batted away, and we force him to go three and out. So now Henderson, he's going to go around the outside, pick up nothing. So let's go with Jones. Jones around the other side, and that goes nowhere. So now we're going to drop back the pass, and instead of going short, we go deep down the field and that don't work for us and we are forced to go three and out so now Hawkins he's on the center he's gonna get the ball to Maxwell and Maxwell he gets up field and picks up a solid gain of five so here we go man Hawkins he drops back the pass going over the middle getting that pass will get batted away by Davis so now on third and five, Hawkins drops back the pass and connects the dots to Evans' big play threat over the middle of the field. And that pass is going to split two San Antonio University defenders. So right there, they're going to give it to the fullback. And the fullback, he's going to bumble and stumble his way forward for positive yardage. And on third and two, going to the big tight end, Alexander. And Alexander has enough to move those chains. Now second to go from the eight, Hawkins with time, sitting pretty in the pocket. And he's going to find Evans in the end zone. Touchdown to Lane, and they strike first. So now it's important for our offense to get some going. Back to the ground game with Jones. Jones goes nowhere. We got our running game sucks right now. So we can go over to Spicer, our true freshman, and he is the only playmaker that we have on the team offensively. Back to Spicer. He picks up the first down. I'm telling y'all, we're going to treat this man like he's Jerry Rice. We're going to try and get him the ball seven to ten times. Yes, seven to ten times. That's a big gap. But seven to ten times, we're trying to get this man the ball. Anyways, Gaines drops back the pass, and he is going to get sacked. So that's going to make it second and 18 dropping back the pass is game going over the middle to who spicer if it ain't broke don't fix it going right back to him and we have him open down the middle of the field but we get hit as we let that one go and that pass is going to hit the grass now our defense got to come up big they're going to try and find evans but evans was out of bounds so now it's third and 12 from the own 13 yard line if we can get off the field right here we're going to have excellent field position and they find a receiver but he cannot hang on to the football and they go three and out so we start off close to the 50 yard line going to Henderson and at this point I'm like the, the run game isn't working so let's go to the air back to Spicer like I said if it ain't broke don't fix it we're using that west coast offers those slant routes all day long dropping back the pass we're going to the other receiver and that time he picks up a big first down dropping back the pass and Gaines gets dropped setting up second and long second and 16 looking throwing and that one was just a lazy duck we threw it off of his back foot and that pass will get in Intercepted by Kennedy, and they take right back over from their own 36 yard line. So Hawkins with time going over the middle. He's gonna find Richardson, and Richardson is gonna pick up a fresh first and 10. Ball is placed at the 50 yard line for Hawkins. He drops back the pass, and how we not tip that pass with Davis? I don't know. I feel like EA Sports trying to keep me from this win, but then give me that Yahoo! Zay, her. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Now, my Jets franchise, I hardly ever, never, I never, I can't say hardly ever because I never do it. I never try using interceptions, but just going back to the PlayStation 2 days of EA Sports football, it's geared for you to have to make some user plays. And right here we go, deep down the field, the Spicer catches the football, gets into the end zone, touch down SAU and that is the biggest and best play of this school's history. It's only been a three week history, but that's the best play by far. By far and right now we have tied this ball game up going in the halftime. We have a chance, y'all. We have a chance. So we give the ball to Jones doesn't go anywhere so let's get back to this pass game we have Spicer open down the left sideline but that pass is overthrown so we go three and out but Tulane they have it third and ten Hawkins drops back the pass taking a shot deep and whoo 
Whew. <laughs> that could have been some trouble. But the receiver, he drops it. Going back over to Spicer. And like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We would throw that man the ball early and often and all day. Going deep down the center of the field. And that was not the best decision right there. I was focused too much on Spicer. We had some other receivers that were open. But, hey, it is what it is. We throw another interception. So we need our defense to make another play for us. So it's third and ten. Hawkins from the gun with time going over the middle and get that thing about it here. So we're going to take back over with Gaines. Dropping back the pass going over the middle. We're going to find LRB and he's going to pick up a fresh first in sense of 10. So Spicer he is not the only receiver that we have but hey I'm going to still try and force feed him the ball because he's the best option that we have. So on second and four Hawkins off the play action pass. Gets battered away by a strong by a free safety Smith and then on the very next play we had a chance to get off the field. We had Olsen and double coverage but they end up making the play. So Hawkins with time and then give me the Yahoo Zay Hurl with my man Smith. That's his second interception of the season. That's our second interception of this game. And my two safeties, they're the best players on my defense. They have come to play today. We give the ball to Jones and we finally get some running room off the left side. He's going to pick up a gain of about two, about eight, excuse me, making it second and two. And from there, we pick up the first down. Second and four, get the ball to Henderson, who's headed to the end zone. Touchdown S. A-U, and the Bulls are on top. So mistake me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the first lead that we've had all season long, which means it's the first lead in our school's history. But right there, Tulane, they're not done. They're going to find Maxwell out of the backfield. Now they give it to Maxwell up that guy, and he's going to pick up a solid gain of about seven. Setting up second and three. Play action pass for Hawkins. He's going to roll out, and how we don't get another interception right there is beyond me. That goes right over the head of Davis, right into the hands of Evans, and right down the field for a fresh first and ten. Now Hawkins taking a shot down the field but get that thing up out of here and now it's going to be fourth and 14 to win the size go for it and Hawkins get that thing about it here again and we're going to take over second and five to give the ball to Jones he's going to find some wiggle room and he's going to pick up a first and ten move those chains for the SAU Bulls now dropping back the pass going to find the fullback in the flat and he's going to get demolished right before he picks up the first down and we're going to be forced to punt so there's a minute 26 to go in the ball game we have been riding our defense all season long for the most part ain't been turned into no victories but now we have a chance to get our first win in school history so third and ten Hawkins looking to throw Hawkins dropping back the pass gonna find Olsen and Olsen he's gonna pick up a fresh first and ten move those chains for Tulane dropping back the pass on second and seven we get some pressure but he turns into Houdini gets out of that situation and picks up a solid game of six now it's third and one going to Douglas and Douglas not only picks up a big first down but look at him dancing all in front of the coach from the 20 now, Tulane, they are marching down the field. Hawkins drops back out of the gun, looking for Evans, who makes the catch. Gets hit pretty hard at the five-yard line, but they're going to burn their last timeout. Last play of the game. Going over to the left side, going to find Evans in the corner of the end zone. Touch down Tulane, and they are going to send this ball game into overtime. So the first overtime game in our school history is right here. 14 all, and we are going to be on offense first to start the overtime period. Dropping back the pass, and look at Spicer coming up big with the diving catch over the middle. Now we get the ball to Jones, and he's going to pick up the first down, and now we have the ball at the five-yard line. Dropping back the pass, his game's going to Henderson, and that pass gets intercepted. It looked to me that that ball got sucked into the hands of the defender. But as I looked at it again, it kind of just looked like it was just a bad decision on my part. And a great play by number 31. And that's going to result into a game-ending, game-sealing, game-winning field goal. And that's going to be how this one ends. Unbelievable game by both teams. But we get the short end of the stick. And now it's time to go face UTEP. But before we do this, check out Tulane. They are going all types of crazy when they beat a school that hasn't had a football victory in their history. Like, what's going on, man? So, Tulane, you know, um, Louisiana is pretty close to Texas. So, I'm going to make sure that we put these boys on the schedule next year. And we're going to handle business next time. And the next time we play these guys is going to be in San Antonio 
on our campus. So hopefully we can get that victory and, of course, get a little bit of revenge, man. So after that week, we weren't the only one that had a tough loss. You see that Oregon State, they defeated number eight Louisville. So Louisville, they lose their number eight ranking. And you see that Adrian Peterson, he's hurt or whatever his name is for this franchise. He's gone. So Atkins, he's taken over and he actually has himself in the Heisman watch. So he's doing pretty good as well. So Brian Williams, he's also up in there. Of course, Gary Matthews, a.k.a. Vince Young, he's up in there. And then his fake number eight Michigan receiver, a.k.a. Jason Avant, he's also up in there as well. But look at one of our players. What did y'all do today? Somebody broke the team rules, so we're going to end up sus suspending Noah Mackey for the first oh, two the quarters season. of and the ball game. So yeah, I know you guys hear the voices in the background. Yeah, that yeah, means that this game is on TV. So hopefully we can get a win in this and we are 0 and 4 it's ugly we are 0 and 4 taking on utep back in san antonio this i believe is our third home game and we have not played well at home at all so we got to turn that around start putting some games together and start putting some fans in the seats man this is embarrassing having well a quarter of the stadium field and that's how you get things going davis with the strip and smith with the scoop and he's going to take that thing inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line so we're doing our thing on defense like always and look at Jones heading to the end zone. Going to get chopped down at about the two-yard line. So now it's second to go from the one. Good to give us to Jones and Jones takes that one right up that gut. Touch down SAU and we get on the board first. So we got our second lead in school history, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Henry looking to pass. He's going to go to his big time play make a receiver and he's going to pick up a nice gain on the pass play picking up a fresh first and 10 that pass went right over the hands of McCoy, our starting left corner. So right there going to take a shot deep into the hands of the receiver but get that thing about it. He got smacked pretty hard even though we didn't get the prettiest animation on that one and we're going to guess who? Spicer. Why? Because we're cheating him like Jay Rice, man. Now Jones up that guy. And Jones, he's, Jones is going to pick up a fresh first and 10 from the 42. Now Henderson, it's your turn. And he's going to break some tackles, gets his way upfield, and he's going to pick up a solid gain of nine. But hold on, hold on. There's a flag on the play. Don't be bringing this back. Face mask on them. Give us an extra 15 yards. Let's keep this thing moving down the field. Now Gaines with time over the middle of the Spicer. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We might have a freshman All-American all around. On our hands. I know we don't win that many games, he might not make it, but this dude is flat out beasting and feasting. Now we're getting drop back to pass, rolling out with Gaines, and he's gonna find Allen in the end zone. And we finally have a significant lead in this season. The first time we are up by two scores this whole season. Can we hang on to this lead? They're going to find Peoples, their big tight end, and he's going to pick up a fresh first and 10. Drop back pass is Henry going to the right side, back to Peoples, and the tight end falls forward for a gain of about eight. Now it's third and one from the 32 yard line. They give it to Johnson, the big fullback, and he's going to pick up a first down. Now Leonard, he gets the toss play, and Leonard, he goes upfield. He's going to fall forward for a first and 10. Gets brought down by Davis on the play. Now the ball's on the 10 yard line, first and five after we jumped off offsides and now they're gonna get into the end zone with the big fullback look at him bumbling and stumbling his way forward and now this ball game is just a little bit close to 7 to 14 to score and Spicer ends up fumbling the football on the ensuing kickoff and now it's third and 12 for UTEP trying to go to the end zone but get that thing about it here and they're gonna have to settle for a field goal so 14 to 7 make it 14 to 10 but we're still on top we haven't been down at all this ball game we we want to keep it that way. So we're going to give the ball to Henderson. Look at the blocks he gets downfield. He gets down the sideline and down to the 40-yard line. Move those chains. Gain of about 20 on that run play. And look at number 28 doing his thing down the sideline. Now Gaines drops back the pass going to who? Spicer. Because he's the man. Just know that we will go to him early and often and all day if we have to. Back to Spicer. Four straight completions for Gaines. He's doing his thing in the pass game. Now Gaines. He's going to roll out Gaines with time. Gaines going over the middle to guess who? Spicer. And Spicer, he's going to pick up a big first down. Move those chains. And now we have a chance to put some more points on the board because now we're inside the red zone of Utah. First and 10 to give us to Jones. Jones right up that gut. Takes that thing to the barn. Touchdown, SAU. And now we have an 11-point ball game over Utah. 
So UTEP, they're going to take over from the 45-yard line. First and 10. Henry takes a shot deep to nobody, and Smith makes the catch his third interception of the season. He's not done with it. He breaks the tackle, gets the ball up to the 19-yard line, and with about 30 seconds left in the first half, I'm thinking, let's just run out the clock. So 31 seconds on the clock, get the ball to Jones. But look at Jones. He picks up a solid gain on the play. So if it ain't broke, let's try it again. Get the ball right back to Jones. And now Jones cuts up field, gets past the 50, down to the 49-yard line. So I'm like, let's try it again. It breaks the tackle, falls forward, and then fumbles the football. And that's going to end the first half of play. But hey, we could have got more for that drive, but I'm not mad. We up by 11, 21 to 10. I am not going to damper the spirits of these young players, right? Right there, we find Spicer, and Spicer, he gets up field, big time play right there. We step out of bounds, unfortunately, but we still pick up a fresh first and 10. Henderson up the gut, running hard. I love that young running back. He fights so hard for yards. Right there, Jones, he's along the left side line, and he's gonna fall forward, showing that he ain't no slouch neither. He's like, I'm the starting running back for a reason. Right there, Gaines, he's gonna get sacked on the play. That was on third down. They got early pressure, so now we're gonna have to set up for the field goal and the kick is up and the kick is good man so we are now up by 14 still a two possession game but now it's 14 and we get an interception so not only are you up by 14 we got the ball right back but on third down we go to Spicer and that pass hits the grass we got ourselves another field goal and that one just veered to the right there's no win but the kick meter in NCAA is a lot different from the football games that I play now I'm just saying anyways man gonna find Workman over the middle he's gonna have enough for nothing, really. I thought he picked up the first down, but they end up going three and out. We can go to Ella B, and he's going to pick up a fresh first down on the slant route. Slant routes are working. In cut routes are working. So that's what we're going to do. Right there, we try to hit Spicer on the uh, on the slant route, but that's going to go right into the hands of Jones. The free safety has eight tackles plus that INT. So UTEP, they're not done. 320 to go in the fourth quarter. Henry with time. Going to take a shot deep, and oh no, we got beat like we stole some. That that's going to be caught by the receiver downfield. And now they are inside of our red zone looking to stay in this ball game. Down by 14. Henry goes to the left side. Going to find Duncan. He's going to fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, UTEP. And now it's a one possession game. 24 to 17 is the score. But they decide to kick the ball deep. They have all their timeouts. But our running game for the first time this season has been deadly. Jones picks up the first down. Third down now. Over the middle to guess who Spicer. We, if, he, if we throw in the ball, he is our first option on every single play. Second and one, Henderson picks up the first down, and now the clock becomes a real concern for UTEP. Jones around the outside. Jones inside the 30. Jones breaks a tackle and picks up another first down. Ball's on the 21. Now second and one inside the 15 goes Henderson, and that's going to wrap this one up as we get the first win of the season. And the first win in our school's history. And you better believe that the celebration is on. Drinks are on me if you're over 21. There's a party at Coach's house. Don't mess up the furniture. But we are going to have a ball tonight, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And be on the lookout for more NCAA 06 Dynasty mode right here. Peace. Hot sauce. I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time.